Some of Martin Puryear's sculptures look like they might be tools, but it isn't quite clear how they would be used. Some are reminiscent of animals, or boats, or primitive shelters. He's always made objects that look like they should have a name, but we can't name them. They seem like something we know, but not really. Ruth Fine is the National Gallery of Art curator of special projects in modern art. She says Puryear's interest in building started as a boy. Martin talks about, well, if I wanted to learn archery, I would make the bows and arrows, and if I wanted to play a guitar, I would make the guitar. He's known for objects that are less useful, but more thought-provoking, like this piece titled Ladder for Booker T. Washington. It is named for the renowned educator who was born a slave. Or this one, titled Le Prix. I think he appreciates the idea that his viewers bring all of their experience to his work. I don't think he in any way wants to impose on his viewers that they know what he was thinking about or what his history is. Puryear declines interviews and avoids the camera. This portrait, courtesy Art 21, Art in the 21st Century, is five years old. The artist says he likes his work to speak for itself, to proclaim a sculptor who enjoys crafting things as much as designing them. I think it's important to him that the viewer is aware that they have been handmade. Not only handmade, but made by Martin Puryear himself, often without an assistant, including this piece, Desire, which is so large he never saw it fully assembled until it was exhibited. One thing Martin Puryear has said is that he's very pleased to have a major retrospective at the National Gallery of Art, the museum he visited as a boy growing up in the U.S. Capitol. Susan Logue, VOA News, Washington.